Biomimetic materials are materials developed using inspiration from nature. This may be useful in the design of composite materials. Natural structures have inspired and innovated human creations. Notable examples of these natural structures include, honeycomb structure of the beehive, strength of spider silks, bird flight mechanics, and shark skin water repellency. The etymological roots of the neologism new term, biomimetic dervive from Greek, since bios means life, and mimetikos means imitative. Topic: Tissue engineering. Biomimetic materials in tissue engineering are materials that have been designed such that they elicit specified cellular responses mediated by interactions with scaffold-tethered peptides from extracellular matrix (ECM) proteins, essentially the incorporation of cell-binding peptides into biomaterials via chemical or physical modification. Amino acids located within the peptides are used as building blocks by other biological structures. These peptides are often referred to as self-assembling peptides, since they can be modified to contain biologically active motifs. This allows them to replicate information derived from tissue and to reproduce the same information independently. Thus, these peptides act as building blocks capable of conducting multiple biochemical activities, including tissue engineering. It should be noted that tissue engineering research currently being performed on both short-chain and long-chain peptides is still in early stages. Such peptides include both native long chains of ECM proteins as well as short peptide sequences derived from intact ECM proteins. The idea is that the biomimetic material will mimic some of the roles that an ECM plays in neural tissue. In addition to promoting cellular growth and mobilization, the incorporated peptides could also mediate by specific protease enzymes or initiate cellular responses not present in a local native tissue. In the beginning, long chains of ECM proteins including fibronectin (FN), vitronectin (VN), and laminin (LAN) were used, but more recently the advantages of using using short peptides have been discovered. Short peptides are more advantageous because, unlike the long chains that fold randomly upon adsorption causing the active protein domains to be sterically unavailable, short peptides remain stable and do not hide the receptor binding domains when adsorbed. Another advantage to short peptides is that they can be replicated more economically due to the smaller size. A bifunctional cross-linker with a long spacer arm is used to tether peptides to the substrate surface. If a functional group is not available for attaching the crosslinker, photochemical immobilization may be used. In addition to modifying the surface, biomaterials can be modified in bulk, meaning that the cell signaling peptides and recognition sites are present not just on the surface but also throughout the bulk of the material. The strength of cell attachment, cell migration rate, and extent of cytoskeletal organization formation is determined by the receptor binding to the ligand bound to the material, thus, receptor ligand affinity, the density of the ligand, and the spatial distribution of the ligand must be carefully considered when designing a biomimetic material. Topic: Biomimetic mineralization. 
Proteins of the developing enamel extracellular matrix such as amelogenin control initial mineral deposition, nucleation and subsequent crystal growth, ultimately determining the physico-mechanical properties of the mature mineralized tissue. Mutations in enamel ECM proteins result in enamel defects such as amelogenesis imperfect. Type 1 collagen is thought to have a similar role for the formation of dentin and bone. Nucleators bring together mineral ions from the surrounding fluids such as saliva into the form of a crystal lattice structure, by stabilizing small nuclei to permit crystal growth, forming mineral tissue. Dental enamel mineral as well as dentin and bone is made of hydroxylapatite with foreign ions incorporated in the structure. Carbonate, fluoride, and magnesium are the most common heteroionic substituents. In a biomimetic mineralization strategy based on normal enamel histogenesis, a three dimensional scaffold is formed to attract and arrange calcium and/or phosphate ions to induce de novo precipitation of hydroxylapatite. Two general strategies have been applied. One is using fragments known to support natural mineralization proteins, such as amelogenin, collagen, or dentin phosphophorin as the basis. Alternatively, de novo macromolecular structures have been designed to support mineralization, not based on natural molecules, but on rational design. Topic: Extracellular matrix proteins. Many studies utilize laminin-1 when designing a biomimetic material. Laminin is a component of the extracellular matrix that is able to promote neuron attachment and differentiation, in addition to axon growth guidance. Its primary functional site for bioactivity is its core protein domain isoleucine lysine valine alanine valine IKVAV, which is located in the alpha-1 chain of laminin. A recent study by Wu, Zheng et al. synthesized a self-assembled IKVAV peptide nanofiber and tested its effect on the adhesion of neuron-like PC12 cells. Early cell adhesion is very important for preventing cell degeneration. The longer cells are suspended in culture, the more likely they are to degenerate. The purpose was to develop a biomaterial with good cell adherence and bioactivity with IKVAV, which is able to inhibit differentiation and adhesion of glial cells in addition to promoting neuronal cell adhesion and differentiation. The IKVAV peptide domain is on the surface of the nanofibers so that it is exposed and accessible for promoting cell contact interactions. The IKVAV nanofibers promoted stronger cell adherence than the electrostatic attraction induced by poly L lysine, and cell adherence increased with increasing density of IKVAV until the saturation point was reached. IKVAV does not exhibit time dependent effects because the adherence was shown to be the same at one hour and at three hours. Laminin is known to stimulate neurite outgrowth and it plays a role in the developing nervous system. It is known that gradients are critical for the guidance of growth cones to their target tissues in the developing nervous system. There has been much research done on soluble gradients, however, little emphasis has been placed on gradients of substratum-bound substances of the extracellular matrix such as laminin. Dodler and Bellamconda fabricated an anisotropic 3D agarose gel with gradients of coupled laminin-1 
Concentration gradients of lane 1 were shown to promote faster neurite extension than the highest neurite growth rate observed with isotropic lane 1 concentrations. Neurites grew both up and down the gradients, but growth was faster at less steep gradients and was faster up the gradients than down the gradients. Topic: <inaudible> Biomimetic artificial muscles. Electroactive polymers EAPs are also known as artificial muscles. EAPs are polymeric materials and they are able to produce large deformation when applied in an electric field. This provides large potential in applications in biotechnology and robotics, sensors, and actuators. Topic: Biomimetic photonic structures. The production of structural colors concerns a large array of organisms, from bacteria, Flavobacterium strain IR1, to multicellular organisms, Hibiscus trianum, Doritethis pile, squid or Chrysochroa fulgidissima beetle, manipulation of light is not limited to rare and exotic life forms. Different organisms evolved different mechanisms to produce structural colors, multilayered cuticle in some insects and plants, grating-like surface in plants, gerometrically organized cells in bacteria, all of theme stand for a source of inspiration towards the development of structurally colored materials. Study of the firefly abdomen revealed the presence of a three-layer system comprising the cuticle, the photogenic layer and then a reflector layer. Microscopy of the reflector layer revealed a granulate structure. Directly inspired from the fire fly reflector layer, an artificial granulate film composed of hollow silica beads of about 1.05 micrometers was correlated with a high reflection index and could be used to improve light emission in chemiluminescent systems. Topic: <laughs> Artificial enzyme Artificial enzyme is a synthetic materials that can mimic partial function of a natural enzyme. Among them, some nanomaterials have been used to mimic natural enzymes. These nanomaterials are termed as nanozymes. Nanozymes as well as other artificial enzymes have found wide applications, from biosensing and immunoassays, to stem cell growth and pollutant removal. <laughs> <laughs> 